Hello, this is Anfra Tushev. In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, use the new retarget, animation retarget system to add in Atoms Area 1.6. So, uh, in this scene, I have this character that I just downloaded from Mixamo. Uh, I adjust the skeleton and mesh, I have no animation, and then I have the standard Atoms Man here with the uh, locomotion stadium clips and the locomotion stadium set machine so here I have my clips uh, for the man and the state machine here that you use in those clips so with the new retarget system I can use those clip and state machine directly on the uh, mutant character without duplicating the, the animation clip or process in any way what you need to do is basically to char characterize your um, your, your character <clears throat> using the new Atoms character uh, asset. So first, let's set up this uh, mutant skeleton. So what you need to do is basically to add the standard tag to the pelvis and leg to be able to use this with, uh, with Atoms. So let's tag the pelvis, that is the hip. And let's set up the legs. Uh, so let's set up first the left leg, the root, K joints, and the foot joint, foot tip joints. Let's do for the other legs as well. So right, right leg, right foot and then the foot tip okay so let's save and now let's close this one let's create the agent type asset so uh, done this one's for the default variation select the mutant skeleton mutant skeleton mesh and then let's create the agent type G mutant Okay, so let's select the skeleton of the mutant that's here, sorry, the, the skin, and then let's select the skeleton. Okay, now we need to uh, create the character asset, so we can uh, just save this one. Okay, let's create the Atom's character asset. Let's go at mutant. Okay, let's open this one. Uh, so here basically you set up and you uh, the description of the joint chains that compose for example spine, arms, uh, legs, uh, fingers, and so on. Um, you can do manually here if you want. So adding one shape per time and do all this stuff or uh, a easy way is to use the retarget manager uh, of Unreal, then transfer the data to the new asset. So let's go to the mutant skeleton. Uh, let's uh, open the retarget manager. So here, just uh, basically select a rig. We need to set up the rig here. And here, let's. Let's set up. So I don't have a root. I have directed the pelvis. So let's sorry. So let's select the pelvis. Let's select the spine. Spine one, zero, one, two. Uh, this one is my left shoulder. Uh, left arm. Left forearm. Left hand. Uh, same thing for the right side, right shoulder, right arm, right forearm, uh, right hands. If you want, you can stop also the, the fingers uh, on the advanced section here, but just set up the standard standard chain here. So I have the neck, I have the head. I set up the this one is the left left up leg left leg left foot 
and do for the right leg, right up leg, right leg, and right foot. Okay, now uh, you need to set up uh, the right target pose. So in this case, it's a T pose, also my man is in T pose. By the way, just make sure to save the pose. If if the pose uh, doesn't match for some this if this one is in A pose and the man is in T pose, you need to bring this one in T pose and save uh, the retarget pose using the use current uh, current pose here. So let's save this one. Let's close. And now if I go on my Atom's character asset, right click and update from skeleton. Let's select my mutant character skeleton and if I open you see all the data is there semantically filled. Um, so let's have a look uh, how is this the data. So in the retarget pose is stored the, the retarget pose that you use on the, on the skeleton, the one that you save from the target manager. So you can see there are all the joints and for each joint is, there is a joint transformation for that pose. Then there is the root bone case of the hips and then all the chain formation. So let's have a look at the chain formation. So let's it starts with the with the root chain. Uh, in reality this one is only a single joint. Here on the chain basically on the bones here you put the list of all the joints that compose this uh, this chain and in the type you set up the type of the chain. In this case is a root joint and it's not a limb, neither an effector, so I don't need to stop anything. And then the position of this, this joint. So it's a root, so in, it's in the center, so it's not left or right in this case. And the vertical position is the root, is the root in the center. And then the depth is in the center as well, because for example, if we, this one for the root, okay, is always, is always the center. Um, so for the root is really simple here. Let's have a look to the other joints. So in this guy, in this case, the spine. Uh, same thing. The sort of the vertical now is top because on on the top side of the uh, of the character, uh, the depth is center as well. And then I have the list of all joints that compose the spine. And uh, here is the leg setup. So it's a limb. In this case, uh, is the left leg, left leg. So the horizontal data is left, vertical is bottom, and depth is center because it's not a quadruped or any other character. If it would be a quadruped. You want to have the front left uh, leg. You need to put the front, or if you want the back, put the back here. And then the list of the bones. Uh, this one is basically is the up leg. Is the uh, this one is the middle joints and then the, the anchor basically. Uh, so let's close this one. Uh, this one's the other leg. Uh, this one's for the foot, but it's composed only by uh, a single joint in this case. Uh, but you can put multiple if you want. And the same stuff for horizontal vertical depth. And in this case, uh, uh, can tag as, as foot here and same thing for the other one this one the neck uh, yeah we have also uh, the head and this one for the shoulder so from the clavicle and same here here there are just the left shoulder joints same thing left top depth is still center and then let's have a look to the arm. So I have a arm here. It's a left left top arm. And then as you can see here, it's a, basically shoulder. Uh, sorry, arm forearm and uh, left left and left hand uh, joints. Uh, for example, if you want to set up the the fingers, you can do as well. Just add the new one. Uh, this one is a, a factor for the fingers. And then in the code types, you have the description of each finger. So you can, for example, put the thumb. Uh, if you want the top, 
or this one the left is on the left uh, left arm and saying that he is fine and then put the joints that compose the the, the finger so let's remove this one don't need it uh, so basically let's save now the uh, atoms character is ready uh, so we can set this on the on the um, on the mutant agent type and now we can use also the, the we can sorry we can set up the state machine so for example man local local state machine let's save and let's close so you need to do this for for every character so for example here we that we did this from the mutant but to make it works also the man that is the source of the animation must have this uh, this asset because this one is the description of the um, of the agent in this way the retarget system know which limb and other joints retarget from one one skeleton to another in this case here i already uh, set up the 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 man as so here, as you can see, I already set up the rig uh, with the pose, and I created the the um, character asset from the man, and then I set up the this asset on the on the agent type here on the character asset slot. Okay, at this point you can um, you can simulate the agents. So let's put an agent group. Let's create a grid layout uh, let's put a state machine and then now let's select our et mutant so let's move this one a bit and let's play now he's using the idle clip of the man Let's have a look to the wall clip. Okay. Let's let's compare the, the two. Let's create a new agent. Here on the sorry, where is sites on the Y? Let's override one of the two to use the man. Let's press play. As you can see, it adapts to the new character, so it adapts the velocity and so on. Um, here. Uh, let's let's try the run sorry the jog clip mm -hmm. so it was works and fine okay so probably we can improve a bit the um, the foot because at the moment we set up on the foot only uh, a single joint we didn't uh, set up the the foot tip joint so for example we can add it uh, it's the foot in this case the right to base, base that is the foot tip joint so stuff and atoms uh, so we can stop this one and uh, on the man left save this one and we can set up on the mutant as well and here and right Okay, let's press play. Yeah, seems a little bit better the the the, the fit.
Okay, now we can try the the stadium state machine, for example. Uh, so let's switch to the uh, stadium. Um, uh, let's switch also on the the man. Agent type. You don't need to to switch uh, just to uh, to have a reference between the two on the on the agent type. Seems working fine. Let's try some other clip. Sorry. This one is the idol. So, seems working fine. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.